Well, it's time for something sweet. Nothing says the holidays like some delicious desserts. These are the days that we just love our jobs. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something. Alex B. Taylor's here with some amazing food. Kara, he brought eggnog. He oh, brought eggnog. I, I didn't know. I mean, I, that, that's one of Scott's favorite I won't favorite buy it things. myself because the calorie yeah. count is so high. It is. But I won't buy it. But if it comes wanna, in, I'll eat it. A year. I'll drink Maybe it. Maybe you want to start that, but that's the modern milkman in Ellington, so the, yeah. this will actually come to your door. So they actually deliver. You put a cooler right out in the front, and they will drop it off. They also have bagels, cheese, pastries. Stop it. Yeah, they, they deliver. And they, they source this from Oak Ridge Dairy Farm in Ellington as well. So super fun and delicious. Wow. It is remarkable. Yeah. It is so very good. Tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season to drink yes. eggnog. Yes. And everything is local. Everything local. It so is. where right. do you want to start? So let's go over in the corner here. We're, we're going to go. This is incredible. Nora Cupcakes typically has cupcakes, which we know and we all mm -hmm. see. But they have a Santa cake and that. also a reindeer cake, which we don't have in front that of us. That is the cutest but thing this ever. Is, it's a huge heavy cake and this cake will feed the masses owner Carrie does such a great job with decorating oh my we gosh love her. that is adorable yeah should make more than one of those she, oh, the, I don't think you'll need it for your household. I mean, like, but, no, yeah. but I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, but oh, I like, yeah, I, I can't believe she makes I, multiple oh, of she these. Oh, she does. She does. It's so much fun, and she does such a great job with and it. I'm sure. I know. Now, let's switch gears over here to Little Owl's Bakery. Aww. Show them this great day, this Connecticut cookie. This is so beautiful. Cookie. So, Little Owl's Bakery will do anything yeah, you want. These, and she made us a gorgeous... Great Day Connecticut cookie. Yeah, hand painted, super delicious. Owner Stephanie started August of 2020 during the pandemic, found her passion. She originally was cakes and cupcakes, but now because the cookies did so well, cookies only, custom oh orders. God, that is wow. so awesome. Check out wow. the website. But the, for... I mean, so sweet. Like, I love this angel cookie. Yeah, beautiful. Ginger, and they're so sweet. Oh my Absolutely gosh, they're beautiful. beautiful. Mm. Wow. Well, let's go to Santa's arch nemesis. You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch, this is from J Cakes here. This is the Whoville Grinch cake, which you saw amazing. from the front, right? I've never seen anything like this it. This is so beautiful. J Cakes does a great job. They're in North Brantford, uh, another women-owned business, super awesome. Owner Hope acquired J Cakes 17 years ago. Wow. So super fun. It's absolutely incredible. I don't yeah. know how that um, tree is actually molded like Fondant, that. Fondant, probably. Oh Fondant. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. All right, but we're gonna move because now we've had cakes everybody can eat, but now we've got a gluten-free cake here for from Pure Love Bakery. We want to be inclusive of yeah. everybody's dietary needs. Look how beautiful this wreath cake looks. My friend Alicia, she cannot have gluten. This is the cake she can have. And, and Pure Love great. Bakery, Melissa's been there. They make a great taste. I mean, you're not going to miss yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. it's it's so great. Where? Um, what, I apologize. That's Pure Love Bakery? In Avon. In yes. Avon. That looks and sister, it's such a beautiful cake. Sister owners Karen and Lynn do such a great job. So. It's okay. beautiful. Is everything gluten-free there? Or? Everything dedicated gluten-free. Okay. Terrific. Yeah, super and great. And it's all, I, Melissa Cole's gluten-free, and she said everything there is amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's really terrific. Now here, let's move to a little bit of a controversy here. Okay. This was very popular during the Big E, the pickle cupcake. Mm. And have you heard of the Chris Christmas pickle ornament tradition? No. Ever? Yes. Okay, so you, yeah. whoever finds the Christmas pickle on the Christmas tree in the morning either gets an extra present from Santa or they get good fortune for the rest of the year. Yeah, I gave it out at my, it was the, I gave out ornaments to everybody who came to my holiday party and yes. one of the ornaments was a pickle and whoever got the pickle you know, had so, good fortune and so Well, this wow. year, Josh has done Christmas pickle cupcakes. So whoever eats a Christmas pickle cupcake has good fortune for the rest of the I year. I've had it. Yeah? It's what do you think? delicious. It's delicious. It's a trending item from oh 2023 as well. I know pickles are big on social yeah. media. I just can't get into, like, pickles and cupcakes. Oh, it's so maybe. good. It's so you good. Never know. Okay. All right, so let's, oh, but they also have these delicious regular cookies as well. So yeah. don't think they're just Christmas pickle cupcakes. Mm. Um, Moving over here, we have an Italian tradition, which, what was the name of the dog from The Wizard of Oz? Do you remember? Toto. 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 So these are called Totos. Oh, they're so Not cute. Not after the dog, but after an Italian Christmas cookie. It is a chocolate spice cookie that has chopped nuts, raisins, cherries, and it's it was, so I, I, delicious. Karen and I actually had one before. It was delicious. And I kind of wasn't expecting clove, that. Clove, right? Yeah, clove, clove. That's the flavor. That's a South End Bakery in Newington, yes. but it used to be in the South End of Hartford. Correct, and on amazing. Franklin Ave. And, and Luann's Bakery, I just want to shout them out that with the pickle cupcakes, but um, I have gotten things. They're incredible in Ellington. Oh, okay. Look at, this, look, look at this little cute gingerbread. Yeah, too. that's like, adorable. Oh my gosh. That's amazing, we're right? We're going to have fun eating all yeah, this. Yeah, this is okay. so great. So we have a few more to showcase, which we're going to move over to here, which is K-Cookies. I met Narelle 
these are her hot cocoa cookies at a Ooh. reset um, service adventure where they had a food competition. Pass and one of those over. These are not only gluten-free, but they're also vegan. So really? we're really making they're all... They're like a hot cocoa in a cookie. Everybody is included this year, which is super great. Mm. Would you know it's gluten-free and vegan? No, this right? is amazing. It's still, no, it's, it's so mm. nice and moist. And it, it's gooey. It does, does such and a great job, in. right? It mm. really does. It's totally vegan, I can tell. You, oh, my God. So on, kidding. Come on. I don't so know kidding. how you make this vegan or gluten-free, but it's delicious. Mm, well, really in good. order to wash all of these delicious treats down, we mm. have a... Mm. Also, we did already talked about the milk here. This is really knock, wonderful. But mm. we have these wine slushies from Hawkridge Winery which you may remember we had them on in January because slushies were trending for 2023. This year, uh, for this December, they're doing their Grinch slush, I love which it. is a lime-flavored Saval Blanc, which is similar to a Sauvignon Blanc, and also raspberry on the side, whipped cream, and deliciousness. And where are they? They're in Watertown? They're in Watertown. Owners, uh, well, Jeff and Maureen, shout out to them. They've done such a great job. Of I think Marcy's been there for Wine Wednesday. She was there, I think, uh, a week ago. A week maybe. ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's she right. Was, yeah, and the, one of them was dressed up as Santa. Oh, my God, Which that's is great. so I know. Funny. So now, listen, which one of these would you pick if you had to pick one? Oh, my God, I haven't even eaten them all. But, yeah. I, I mean, but by I'm looks loving alone. this cocoa. The hot cocoa from I'm Cake loving, Cookies. I, don't, I, lo I, I think the Santa and the Grinch cakes my, are incredible. Yeah. My absolute favorite are butter cookies, so. I'm going with yeah, the so we have her. little owls, Paris, which she named one of those after her, her daughters, you which is so no. cool. Oh, okay. That was Rudolph, good. right? Yeah, Rudolph. Oh, my God, it's Rudolph. You right? Rudolph. And I'm kind of fancy, I'm not going to lie, to the uh, Christmas Look at how adorable cake. these cookies are. It's a, it's a very special one. We've had a blast hanging out for the, all of the holidays this I year. Know. I can't believe this is our final it's our segment. Final holiday our final show. holiday segment of the year. Okay, this so not fun. only are the cookies decorative, but they're very, very good. Delicious. Yeah. And look, I mean, you can't beat this Christmas pickle cupcake. Come on, a pickle. Mm, okay. Happy holidays. Head over to alexbtaylor.com. You can find all of the tags for all of these businesses. And happy holidays, yes. my friends. And I'll be sharing it. You can follow me at Kara something on Instagram. We'll collab together yes. to find us. But support local. Yes, yeah. that's so important. Yeah. And hey, happy New Year. We're um, going to be uh, taking a little time off, but Kara and I just want to say thank you so much yes. for watching us here. We want to wish you a great holiday season. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, and a happy New Year. Whatever it is you're celebrating. And we have a holiday special on Christmas Day. On Christmas oh. Day. Thank you, everyone. We love you. Thank you for having us into your homes every day. Happy holidays to everyone. Eyewitnesses at 4 is right now.